Mustangmedic.com Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. Day 78, 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Bringing her back to life. Part two. Now I'm sanding the two plastic arm pieces on these two spots right here, prepping for paint. At Mustang Medic, we use happy tools. Here's uh, the vents that fit in on the back uh, quarter panel behind the doors. Washing them all up. Gonna give them a nice uh, coating of uh, black paint, put them on. And what we're doing is we're using these long bristles to get into each vent and get rid of any dust that's on it. It's a plastic piece and this is the rubber on it. And this rubber moves in and out when you close your uh, trunk and lets the air travel through the car so, so it doesn't it just give it air, air vents basically. So we're gonna, I'm gonna sand these down after I get all this dust off, give them a nice little coat of black, and they're getting prepared to go back on. All this is preparation for the final bodywork, sanding, paint, and then all these pieces are gonna go on. Okay, so these parts are drying out now after scrubbing them before paint, and these, this is the hinge, which is, ah, nuclear, and this is nuclear, and this is nuclear, and all ready to get painted. Oh, and we are going to go to the Palm Springs Fire Department. We sold these rims and caps. Remember when they were on the car? Day one, day two, check it out if you want to. But we uh, sold these, and we're going to be bringing them over to a firefighter in Palm Springs, and he's going to give us a tour of the fire department today. So that's probably going to be in part two or three of today's videos. Here is the plastic pieces that are ready for paint. Boy, Rick, you're getting up tight and personal on those things, aren't you? Yeah. Back off the table saw. These things are getting painted now, and once these things cool down, they're going to be ready to go. So it looks like this piece is good to go. Don't ever use your car as a, as a workbench. Don't do it. I always tell Ricky that, and I guess I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite right now. I apologize. This is where the chrome handles come out of, and this is where the cushions attach to, which we just saw as paint in the previous video. Here we are, and Ricky and I are heading out. I guess this is, we'll call this the part two intro for today. We got a firefighter in Palm Springs. We think firefighters are awesome. He's taking these rims off us, so uh, we're bringing the original rims of the Mustang, the 71 that we got, and we're selling them to him. He's going to put them on his trailer. So. We're going to do, get a little tour of the fire station and check it out. So you're along for the adventure with us. I used to be a firefighter, so this is really cool for me. I like to see fire stations. If you appreciate our efforts to educate and caught the vision of Mustang Medic, please send a donation to the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Thank you. Lid for the ashtray. And the mechanics of the ashtray. You don't actually see this stuff. It's underneath the center console. But with Mustang Medic, you know it got painted. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. We're acting like we're an emergency go. vehicle going to see real firefighters. Here's the rims. Get them all cleaned up. 
and we're going to bring him to him to the station. Hey, we couldn't take uh, any video because there's just security concerns. There's rules around the firehouse. So we put, took a bunch of still pictures. Here they are. That was an awesome trip at the firehouse in Palm Springs. We got to see a whole different view of uh, what it's like with emergency services in Palm Springs Airport. So, Ricky, you got to see Ricky, you know, driving the trucks and everything. Or not driving, but sitting in them. And we saw some honking Springs guys. Yeah. Did we not? Yeah. All right, so we're racing back to the house to uh, receive that belt. Hopefully that thing's done, making good progress in the parts. And we saw the tires uh, and rims, so uh, they're gone. Chaz has done it from O'Reilly. I'm shaking, sorry guys, I'm just so darn excited. We have the belts, repeat. Three, Three we have, have the, belts. the belts. Three videos, three videos of dealing with the belts. And here they are. To thank for it, thank you Chaz. No problem, no problem. O'Reilly coming through again, Chaz. Uh, there's the belts, guys. We ended up getting a 46 and 1 eighth and a 50 and 1 eighth and those are the belts that are now tight on here this is already snugged up it's not even moving so once she starts to crank around we went around the uh, water pump pulley threw the uh, alternator down and then we went up and we're coming around to the power steering pump and back to the water pulley. So there's two pulleys. This is a thinner one because of the alternator. This is a thicker one because they're all thick all the way through. So there is the belt set up on the 429, guys. Finally concluded. Boy, was that a process. And we're glad. Thank you, thank you uh, Scotty out there. I know you're following us on the videos over there to Riley. Great work, great service, Chaz. Good man. No these are these are the big these these are big deals for us, Chaz. I know it's just belts, but it get, we get excited. I, know, I see this. We get excited, I'm man. Excited too. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. All right, know? I can't wait to. You don't know how many people have been telling me they can't wait to hear this thing. I, I can't wait to hear this thing. I'm starting to have palpitations here. Well, but no, I'm, I might buy it. You might buy it. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be up for sale soon, I think. Yeah. Don't worry, Ori. I'm calm. calm. I'm calm, Ori, out there in, in uh, Mustang Country Land, Mustang Country International. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. No problem. I'm having a moment. This is a big completion for us. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com Alright, team. Let's go. We're going to find the next Mustang. Yeah. MustangMedic.com